This one, once again, since it has that cube in there, we kind of freak out a little bit. But let's get everything on one side and see that it's not. So, for example, I'm going to subtract 9y from both sides of the equal sign. And these end up being a 0 right here. And I've got y cubed minus 9y. Well, I've got two terms now that have a y in common. So I'm going to factor out a y from these, which leaves me with y squared minus 9. And this equals 0. So I have a difference of squares right here, because 9 is a perfect square, and so is y squared. So I've got y, and then I'm going to subtract and plus a y minus 3 and a y plus 3. Again, all of this equals 0. And uh, we're just going to solve those equations, right? y minus 3 equals 0, which tells us that y equals positive 3. But we, we have that purple y in the front. y equals 0. If that y equals 0, then that's still an answer, which requires no work to solve for, all right? But we still have that y plus 3. We need that to equal 0. So y also equals negative 3. Three answers on this one.